These Hot Idiots is a podcast featuring our hosts, two full-grown adult men. Together, they watch teen drama and young adult-oriented television shows one episode at a time. These Hot Idiots is a comedy podcast and isn't meant to be taken as real criticism. This podcast uses adult language. Listener discretion is advised. Oh, Twilight. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shit, it's Coolio. He's here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the D's Hot Idiots mid-season movie. And probably do a, a post-season. But mid-season movie sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, you keep... I can hear your fan, by the way. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me Let me lower that a bit. Uh, yeah. There we go. So, some stuff happened between last episode and now. It's not related to anything we're doing, but rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Uh, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, and that, rest in peace, Terry Funk. Rest in peace, The Funker. Funker, Terry Funk. Yeah, just just putting that Bad out times. there. We could talk more about it, but this is we're reviewing a vampire movie. Uh, yeah, you're not here for wrestling stuff. You're here for, for vampires. Not stupid vampires. Are you ready to become a, a tryhard? Or a Twihard, yes. Twihard. Twihard was the official, uh, the official fan name, and it was because they were diehard about Twilight. I was so but, scared I would be so bored that I'd have no energy by the time we recorded this, but I am fucking fired up. <laughs> he's ready to fucking go. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm start... glad we're going with. Go ahead. So, uh, l- let's talk about our experience with Twilight a little bit. I have I, was... I have a periphery understanding of Twilight. I know all the scenes they parody, and it turns out most of the scenes they parody are in the first half of the film. Yeah. But otherwise, I've never watched this. Because I, was a, I, was... I was a guy, and I was like, ooh, Justin Bieber, ooh, Twilight, bleh. Like, the standard 2008 teenager kind of shit. But... <laughs> I was deep. I was deep in the Twilight hate them of the time. So it was like, it was every. I was in that shit deep where it's like vampires don't sparkle. These books are bad, and it's just like uh, and I've, I've read. You, I've read uh, like the first three books. You read them. <laughs> I've read them. I've I've hate I hate I hate read them. Yeah. So I've hate read the first three books. I feel like I've seen. The first three movies as well. I don't think I've seen The Breaking Dawn. Yeah, he's watched so this movie it. before. It's been a little while. He watched it in black and white for some reason. One time I watched it in grayscale because there was a point where I wanted to see how movies look in grayscale. And this movie probably would look better if it was watched in grayscale. This is probably some of the worst color grading I've ever seen. You know, I thought everything was blue when I first like heard of it and saw clips. But no. Everything's fucking like green and gray. Greens and grays. It's just all anyone over the with place. melanin looks pale as fuck next to the everyone vampires. Looks pale as everyone fuck. looks so fucking pale. There's no colors anywhere. Like when fucking Bella's dad Charlie is like, I hope you like purple and he points to the purple sheet. I couldn't even tell it was fucking purple. I was wondering where the purple was. It, it was, was like, so oh, green, sheet. it looked red. <laughs> like, it looked black, yeah. It looked kind of like a blackish maroon color. Yeah. Like, there's like the one black kid in the school. Yeah, there's, there's the one. that one black kid who hits Bella with his car. And he does. He looks pale. He looks pale as shit. There's that black vampire in the like the uh, the villain group. He he's probably the darkest skin person in this entire thing. Yeah, but he looks pale too. <laughs> he also looks pale. They go to like they go to like La Push, which is where like the Quaaludes are, and all the like Native American kids they see there, they're pale too. And it's all like the pale Native American kids. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying that these can't happen, but this much pale is a lot. Uh, we see a, like, an, I, I described it as an emerald forest of, like, overgrown. It kind of looks like a jungle for some reason. <laughs> well, because it's Washington and everything's green in Washington and rainy. It's so no, rainy there's a, in the there's West a, Coast. There's a little deer, and the deer, like, tilts its head up and starts running. 
and then it runs from a shadow in the distance and then it gets a fucking side tackle from like Edward or some shit. It's fucking speared. It just spears him in midair. And then like it cuts to like Bella who her name's Isabella. I didn't know that. Uh, Isabella Swan, short name Bella. She's in Bowie. she's from Phoenix, Arizona. Bullshit. <laughs> she she's as pale as everyone in Washington, even though she supposedly lived in Phoenix. She moved out when she was four. She moved out she's when she was four. Like she moved to junior. Phoenix with her she's mom. A junior in high school, so that's like fifteen to seventeen, probably sixteen. Junior 17. junior sixteen to seventeen. Yeah, it's sixteen to seventeen. So that's twelve to thirteen years in Phoenix. She has no fucking tan. She didn't even like her mom has a tan. She I doesn't. I live in Washington. I have more tan on my arm than Bella does on her entire body. You mean Massachusetts? I mean, I live in Massachusetts. You live in Washington. I live in, I, I live in Oregon. You live in Oregon. Are you okay? Are you... The twilight does fix to me. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, she does not look like she even saw a single second in the fucking sun. Like, not even, like, residual sun. She could have been an introvert, but I still feel like you'd have a tan if you're in Phoenix fucking Arizona. Like, even a slight bit of tan. Like I said, I, I'm an introvert, and I live in Massachusetts. I still got a full arm tan. I have an arm where, tan, too. <laughs> mainly because I work drive through so it's I'm tan on one arm and much paler on the other. I've, got, a, that's I've the, got pale skin, but I tan because I got that, like, little bit of Turkish in me. Yeah, you got a little bit of triggers. And I could get I pretty my... I could get pretty like olive skinned if I am in the sun enough. Mm. But like Bella is pale as a fucking sheet. <laughs> and she the color a... grading doesn't help. She looks like she's like dead. <laughs> she looks like she's dead. She looks a lot like a vampire already. Which is weird because she's the only human <laughs> in like the she's supposed to be human in the Cullen point. clan later on. Yeah, she's he's their token human friend. So they fly to Washington in a montage. We're moving to uh, Forks, Washington. Her dad's yes. the chief of police. Her her mom's like going on the road with her new baseball her boyfriend. baseball boyfriend. So and to make it easier for everyone, Bella's moving back to Forks with her dad, the chief of police, who just drives onto his lawn. <laughs> Mega Fighter said he didn't need notes. I wrote 16 pages of notes. <laughs> He's he wrote 16 pages of notes. I, I wanted to make sure that I was giving this the fairest chance I possibly could. He's he's being thorough, and I'm just going off like you're going off of spirit and also memory, spirit, spite, and memory. So she, her dad tries small talk, but it's clear that they're kind of on a. I wouldn't say the relationship's strained, but they don't know each other all that well. They haven't seen each other in a long time. For some reason, her dad pulls his police car past the driveway and drives into the fucking yard. <laughs> parks in his lawn. He parks it in his fucking lawn for some reason. And there's like fucking tire tracks in his yard. It looks like shit. There's deep indentations of the tires going through his grass. Like, he does this frequently. You're a I know you're the chief. You're a psychopath. Why are you doing you're that? Fucking Look, I know the state probably pays for your cruiser, but, like, could you could You, you pay try? for your yard. Yeah, like, do you not care? Charlie. So, yeah, Charlie takes uh, Bella to her room, which I assume he fashioned for her or something, because it has a bunch of stuff in it already. Like, it just has some things. It's, it's got, got, like, a, computer, it's got like, a computer, like, a pin board. Uh, it's, it's got a purple blanket, but you couldn't tell because the color grading's so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so fucking bad. So, so they go I, back downstairs and some Native Americans drop by, including uh, Jacob with long hair. Uh, Billy Black and his son Jacob. Oh, his name's Billy. Okay, yeah, Billy's yeah. in a wheelchair. Billy <laughs> immediately attacks Charlie with his wheelchair. They start they start having a little, little tussle and I just wrote down, local police chief attacks disabled indigenous man. <laughs> oh no. Oh, man. So the Native I'm American like, dad, you. Billy, is uh, he's giving a present to Bella. He's got this old beat up like 50s Chevy that he's going he's to. He's got an old ass Chevy truck. Yeah. You know, he said he redid the whole thing for her when she moved up here. 
and she kind of she goes like cool and then goes inside and just kind of like checks out things in the truck and i can't tell if she likes the truck or hates it because like in the book i feel like she was actually happy she started out moping at the idea of getting a truck and then like eventually she's like oh yeah it's a it's a truck and it's like you can do you can you can haul things in a truck yeah, it I couldn't tell if she. I couldn't tell if she liked it or hated it. <laughs> it is a 1963 Chevy Stepside C10 pickup. Okay, it is a Chevy. But I'll be honest. If it, it feels weird to me as somebody who who doesn't drive, who yeah. generally gets driven by his folks <laughs> or takes lifts, it's weird to me the idea of a teenager not being super excited about just having a vehicle. Dude, I feel like if I got an old station wagon or the running gag of all my stories, a 1994 Ford Mondeo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would be I would be stoked. You'd be just so happy because it's a car. And like the kids it at school make fun vehicle. of her for her truck. But I honestly feel like if you just give it a new paint job, because it's kind of like this. Be- it's this worn red color. It's kind of orangish red. Yeah, and it's all beat up. No, I feel like if you just put some paint on it, it'd probably be fine. Yeah, put some purple on there. She likes purple. Jacob tries to tell her how to drive the truck. The truck backfires on the way to school, and everyone makes fun of her. Yeah. We meet Eric. uh, Eric. And his bowl cut. (laughs) His bowl cut. His common rider hair, as we called it. (laughs) Yes, I think he works for, like, the school newspaper or something, and he's got the the common rider haircut, and I just think... Do you just run off randomly and then go kick a go kick a vampire until it explodes and then come back? For those who don't know, uh, Kamen Rider is a series that like runs in Japan, sort of in the same vein as Power Rangers, but this Power one didn't Rangers do as has well in the, the West. Power Rangers has the slight lead on like early Tokusatsu in terms yeah. of like which one came first. But when Kamen Rider showed up, it blew up. It Pretty, blew up. It blew up, but it never crossed over. It never crossed over, but, like, there was, like, a series of, like, seasons where, like, all the, like, lead characters had this very similar kind of, like, hairstyle. Like, from, kind of the 2000, thing. from the 2002 season, which I think is uh, Ryuki, I believe. Yeah. All the way to, like, the late 2010s, every single main character would have, like, kind of like a long bowl cut. With like flared, flared ends and fringes, and Eric's got that shit. <laughs> Eric's got the exact hairstyle of like Shotaro from Kamen Rider Deno or something, or Double. <laughs> yeah, or Shotaro yeah. from Kamen Rider Double. I forgot. Oh, Ryutaro, I think. Uh, yeah, Ryutaro. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Shotaro, actually. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he's gonna tell someone to count up their sins. Uh, yeah, or like the dude from Kabuto, but yeah. Yeah, he could be like a he could be like Tendo, I think. Uh Yeah. It is a very Tendo style hair. Everyone but Yeah, this It's weird. Every, as soon as she like goes to school, everyone is on her like fucking stink on shit. Everyone's like just, grabbing her. Oh, hey, you're Bella. Grabbing her, Bella, right? complimenting her, head? insulting her. They play volleyball and she accidentally hits someone in the face. Spike's mic in the head. Spike's mic in his stupid head. In his stupid little head. We meet Jess, who I don't think does anything else. Jessica, who's just kind of there. She's like the she's the lady friend one. She's like, why'd you, why'd you, oh, you came from Arizona? You sure look pale. And then Bella's like, I got kicked out of Arizona. Arizona for being pale. It's like... I can't tell if she's joking. I cannot tell. I... Like, he's trying to decipher if the, if she's going for humor. I, like, the Kristen thing Stewart... is, the Christian Stewart joke is she makes the same expression for everything, which is not true, and that she says no. everything the same way, which is also not true. The no, problem she is act. she changes mood like four times every sentence, and you can't tell if she's being sincere or genuine or sarcastic or angry. <laughs> She keeps, not... she keeps switching. 
<laughs> we're we're not entirely sure if she just if it's just Does her she... not giving a fuck or if she just got really bad direction. We don't know. It's so weird. It makes everything she says seem like a backhanded remark. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know when she's when she means it or not. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's giving her fucking attention. Like she sits down at the lunch at the lunchroom and some guy fucking yanks someone else's chair and then kisses her and Yeah, he kisses her off the cheek and then he pulls Mike's chair out from underneath him. Uh Tyler. The <laughs> one black kid in the school. Tyler one black kid, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what she's getting so much attention. The uh edit the chief editor of the newspaper just starts taking photos of her face. Like she's just the new kid, you know? Like there's got to be at least a few people who when they who are just like, "Ah, whatever, new kid." Yeah, whatever, new kid. Like some people would be like, "Hey, you're the new kid." Hi. Yeah. I'm I'm Josh. Like everyone just being super friendly to her and it's weird like I don't know. The Cullens enter through like, well, they walk by a window and then the news lady just gives her the scoops on all the Cullens. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Jessica. Is that Jessica? Yeah, that's Jessica. With, it wasn't, it wasn't, with the glasses? it wasn't Angela. No, no, Angela's the one with the glasses. Jessica's the one played by Anna Kendrick. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> they don't matter. They don't matter. They really don't. So I kind of didn't know all the Collins right away because they said like, uh, there's that one. There's Alice. Yeah. There's Jasper who's constantly in pain. <laughs> yeah, who always looks like he's in pain and is in constant pain. He's that's because he's in constant pain. There's there's Rosalie who's the blonde one who's the bitch to Bella later. He's a mean. There's Emmett who's the big doofy one. He's the, he's the doofy one. The big muscle head. There's Jasper, who's always in pain, and there's Alice, who is, like, if you ever wanted to, like, give a physical form to the trope Manic Pixie Dream Girl, there you go. She saw, what was that one movie with the dude from uh, Scrubs? Uh, fucking Garden State. He, he's like, she's like, if you described the girl from Garden State to someone who never watched Garden State, that's, that's who Alice Cullen is. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh... They're all walking in slow motion, and Jess implies that they are all fucking each other. They're all together, and it's weird because they're related, even if they're not related by blood. It's still kind of weird because they all live at the same house. And then in comes Edward Cullen. <laughs> he of the five head. He's got a five head. He's got like a kind of weird doughy complexion. <laughs> it's... He's got too much shit on him. <laughs> I don't know how to describe his complexion besides when you make dough and you lay out the dough and you put that extra layer of flour to make sure it doesn't stick to your hands. That's, his, just, that's, that's his skin complexion. He's so fucking pasty. He's so pa like he looks like if you touched his face, paste would come off of it. And it's like he got hit with like that makeup shotgun that Homer Simpson made in that one episode. <laughs> I swear to God, it like I know how Robert Pattinson looks. He's a very handsome man. Like he looked fine in he looked fine in Harry Potter. He looked fine as Cedric Diggory. He looked fine he looked in the Lighthouse. <laughs> he looked fine as Batman. He looked fine in that movie where he was in the 911. <laughs> yes, uh, remember me. <laughs> yes, but, but in this one. He's got like a weird, it's like, first of all, his hair is different than I remember it. I thought it was kind of like a bouffant, like kind of like a upward curl kind of thing. No, it's No, it's up. like a spiky blowout. Like he's going to join fucking, if you get down on me, I'll get down on you. B44. <laughs> he's going to join B44. Oh my God. He just needs some frost in those tips. He's just got to frost them tips, baby. And the weird part is, I've seen footage of other Twilight films, and he doesn't look as, like, gross and sweaty. <laughs> is the bad filter just not doing me any favors? In it's this a movie? bad that... filter. And also, like, he's got a very fine stubble. And, yes. like, when it gets down to his chin where the stubble is, because his face... Stubble makes your, like, face kind of darken a little bit in that area. 
And that's where you can see just some blue happening. And that's when you can see, like, the blotting on his face. Blotting, and it's just very blue as a result. Yes, it looks like he's got a blue beard. Or he's got, like, uh. blue facial hair. Edward's got too much shit on him. <laughs> got too much shit on him. The chin kills. <laughs> and Bella walks... So they cut to, like, a class... And Bella walks in front of a fan, and then, like, his her stink makes him, like, shudder. Her lady's, like, stinky. Oh. Yeah. Her, her tasty blood smell. Her blood smell on the inside. <laughs> so nice, because... Edward just looks glowing. like shit. I don't know why he looks like shit. I don't remember him looking like shit. <laughs> it, is it because, like... It, these game, these movies came out when HD was a thing. Yes. Did 4K did 4K like make him look worse somehow? I don't know. We got a pretty good quality version of the movie. Yeah. Uh, so Edward's acting or Robert Pattinson's acting in this is really weird. <laughs> so awkward. He's so awkward, but like not in a comfortable way. He's like that kid who like doesn't understand. <laughs> That you need to not just drop personal details in front of someone you just met. That kind of awkward. He's, he's, he, he comes across neurodivergent, is what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, and it's, I say it's, that as a neurodivergent person. It's just the like, body He's language. doing this like half mumbling and he's like leaning forward and he's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it, 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 it comes across very much. He he's just staring at her like a weirdo this entire class, and he's got the body language like, I am about to shit myself in three goddamn seconds. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he has got such like he bolts right out of that chair, like he's he, got a poop. He's got a poop, and he does not care about how graceful he looks doing it. Like <laughs> she cuts. Um, they cut to her checking out with like a student council member and telling Edward that he's going to be held back in biology. And well, it's he like he, he's talking with like some like secretary or like uh fuck I don't know what the word would be like an aide, one of the staff members, a member of the faculty, to just try and get faculty switched member. out of, switch out of class and saying that her his grades are failing. I think Bella had to like turn in a form. She had to turn in like a form like signed by all the teachers. Because she's new, it's you know yeah. it's the usual logistics. Yeah. Edward Cullen rushes out because he still really has to poop. Oh, that's to go so fucking bad. And uh now Bella and her father are at a diner where this yeah. weird bald guy comes up to her and talks about how he was a Santa when he was when she was four and he had his butt crack out and stuff. It was weird. There, there were little bottles or something. There were like little bottles. It, then it, her mom calls cute, and she's just like, uh, yeah, my car broke down. <laughs> yeah, Phil's car broke down and she doesn't have her cell phone. But like, how's it in forks? Charger. How's it in forks, honey? Hey. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> It also reminds me of the fact that in the book, she gets weirdly upset about the fact that Edward just kind of looks at her weird and doesn't seem to have just assume he's just kind of a weird guy. And just it's weird how like the first like that's not the first thing she comes up with of like this weird guy is like side eyeing me the entire class. And I kind of want to ask for a different seat. <laughs> I, I kind of want to ask is like, hey, is that does he do that? Is, is that like, like a thing he does? Like... <laughs> Like he could, ask, like she could ask Jessica. Jessica knows this kind of shit. Do you know if he's like, be like all right up there or something? <laughs> we don't know. He might be autistic. <laughs> Edward and his autistic vampire family. <laughs> no, no, they're not autistic. He's autistic. Are you, are you is... sure about Alice? <laughs> okay, maybe Alice. <laughs> she might have ADHD. We don't know. Emmett just seems like a weirdo who rides on the top of vans. When... He just rides on the top of vans because he's a meathead. He just, like, rides on the back of trucks with his sideways fucking hat. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of a bro vampire. It's bro. Ki that's kind of cool. Bro. <laughs> Let's do Emmett some would fuck... probably... Let's Emmett fucking... would probably hang out with Wolf Damon. <laughs> I'm going to shotgun this deer. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him upside down. <laughs> Hold him upside down. Chug, 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 chug. 
<laughs> so, Devin would probably get along with Damon. <laughs> so uh, Bella gets out of her car again, and then someone just fucking throws a Twizzler at the back of her head. <laughs> Tyler fucking hurls a Twizzler at her. Okay, so yeah, we're, this was before the, the car thing. Yes. Because this is like when she starts noticing that Edward's so, been gone uh, for a Edward, few days. Edward has been gone because the sun's out. And Edward and now also, shows his class, and, you know, maybe Edward just has diarrhea. You don't know. <laughs> did you see how fast he was getting out of his chair? He might have dysentery. I don't know. He might have dysentery. Maybe he's still got some of that Spanish flu left in him after all these maybe. years. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> the lingering effect. That would be actually an interesting idea. Of just you're you're like, just stuck with the disease you had. If you had a disease, it just stays with you. <laughs> So we cut to a random construction website, website, uh, a, ra a random, random construction, construction site, site, yes, where hard hat man is chased by parkour vampires. Parkour vampires chase down and attack this hard hat guy. Bella, this is scenes that they add in the book because it starts, nothing happens. It starts raining, and when Bella heads out the front door, she immediately slips and eats shit because for some reason there's no like stairway out of the front door. It's just a slope <laughs> it's a slope with like stepping stones yeah her dad just like oh there's been like some raccoon attacks or something lately <laughs> oh yeah she but yeah she slips on black ice which is weird because she was already walking on black ice fine before he, he mentions oh, that he replaced the tires of the truck which is cool and a good thing to do if you're a dad <clears throat> yeah it doesn't bring up the fact that her one of the things he does do, and it's mentioned in the book, is that he uh he like he like puts like he he fixes the tires so they can drive on ice like yeah oh so he, he switches them to studs yeah she, he puts studs on the tires for 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 snow driving for ice driving oh well, there wasn't that much really snow nice. it was just wet yeah no it was mostly wet and I think it just froze over. It's hot, and in some shots it's ice, but then there's not yeah, ice. I feel like if she got the, if she got a paint job, that wouldn't be a bad little truck. Oh yeah, no, yeah, and like I said, do purple. Apparently you like purple, Bella. Yeah, apparently you cool. like purple. What does Bella like? <laughs> you know, at the very least, we can say that Elena likes pool. Elena that has likes been pool. Actually, consistent. We can <laughs> confirm that she likes pool, and she likes she likes cheerleading and Halloween. That yeah, those are three things Elena likes. We're not really sure what Bella likes. So, uh, everyone keeps mildly bullying Bella. They, like, ring out things on her head when she come inside, when she goes inside. Edward's there, and he's, like, he's got, like, a little 1990s microscope with him. Yeah, they're doing mitosis. And, and They're doing, like, mitosis, and then they start looking at the fucking cells together because the teacher's talking about onions. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do the onion fruit tips. I so, swear I remember a they version talk, of this scene. And then Edward's like really awkward and starts trying to talk about the weather. And then Bella's like, why are you talking about the weather? And then he just stares at her like, uh, I don't know. It's, this shit is so awkward. He's so fucking awkward. <laughs> Bella's like, I don't like being cold and wet. And it's like, yeah, well, why are you here? <laughs> we get a lot of close-ups of Edward and I just think he looks like shit. <laughs> Looks like shit, and just the, all the close-ups are not helping at all. He looks like shit. I don't know how. Like, it's just weird. He's got this like, like I get the vampire complexion thing, but like he's got a lower neckline on some of his shirts, and you could just so see could he's see. got this white fucking head and then a pink neck. <laughs> you can see where the makeup cuts off. You can see where the makeup cuts off. <laughs> It's like, do you just dunk your head in, like, clown paint? Clown base paint? <laughs> like I said, it's like the fucking, it's like the makeup shotgun that Homer Simpson made in one episode. <laughs> and then we started talking about, like, can a vampire use a tanning bed? Yeah, can and they, they just, so can fucking not just pale? put on artificial tanner? Like, there's artificial tanner. There's a, there's, there's just a goop, and you rub it on, and then you're tan. Just, just even a little bit would help. There's a lot of staring and talking about the same shit about like, yeah, that sells in mitosis or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they get the golden onion. They talk about uh, her stepfather who plays baseball in Florida. The minor leaguer. 
No, he might. He might have a better chance in 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 Jacksonville of getting scouted. No scouts come to Hackensack, but yeah. Jacksonville, they might come around. So she talks about her mom and her dad, and then Edward just sort of talks about why he's interested in her because she's difficult to read. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get fucking ash, ash relating to the struggle. I can't read her for shit, Edward. I'm sorry. <laughs> I we I don't get her either. She keeps changing with like she she has such a weird delivery that I don't understand what her direction is. No, oh. it's like act like you're mad, but not act like you're mad, but you're tired. But then you're like being genuine, but also say it like sarcastically. <laughs> So they stare for a little bit, and then Edward's got to poop. <laughs> so he Edward, he, yeah, she, she asked about his, like, eyes. Of, like, they look a little different now. Because he's, he's fed animal blood, which gives him golden-looking eyes. But he's like, as the, the fluorescent. <laughs> and then just walks right off. <laughs> <sighs> I got to poop. Sorry. Bye. God, and this man. This kid. This is... We haven't gotten to, like, the worst of it yet. Never but I have to say that Edward might be the worst vampire in the United States. This, this, this dude, like, perhaps we've given the worst vampire in the world. Not in terms of like capabilities, but in the ability to remain hidden <laughs> as a vampire. This, this should have gotten the Prince of Seattle on their asses. The Prince but of apparently... Seattle would just be like, guys, we're about to get like fucked <laughs> six ways from Sunday. We need to put these Cullens down. We need to stop these fucking Cullens. They are terrible. They're, the the young the kid Edward he sucks. He just sucks. <laughs> so uh, Bella's talking with her classmates, and Edward's just leering at her from across the street. Kind of there, looking at her. Well, Hi I think is this Tyler's like driving a car in the distance, and then he swerves. And then it's the scene where Edward just jumps over and saves her from getting hit by a car. And, like, stops it with his bare hand and, like, indents the truck and all, or the car and all and that. And the weirdest part is, as soon as the truck stops and, like, Edward looks at Bella and Tyler opens the door, Edward just, like, jumps over the truck and then Naruto runs away. <laughs> he just leaps and yeets his way out, like... And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> This is, is, are we sure we aren't at the part where it's the worst, where he's the worst at this hiding a vampire shit? <laughs> because hey, you're in fucking daylight and like Tyler and Bella both saw you. Two and, people saw you and, and, and more are coming. And you're just, the, oh yeah, the entire school runs over to check if Bella's okay. And fucking Edward's just Naruto running. And I thought, God, it would be such a good cover if he just like feigned that he injured his arm. Ah, he's like kind of grabbed his shoulder or something. And it's like, are you okay? I'm sorry. I just saw. I just saw you were in danger. I I I got in the way. I'm sorry. My arm. Ah. We need to go to my doctor, who is conveniently also my father figure. Yeah, uh, just like I was like, we need to go to the hospital. That's the thing. He could so cover this up because his dad works. Is his his his, his sire his... Carlisle. His sire is a doctor. <laughs> Is a doctor and could easily give him like a sling and maybe like a brace to put his arm in to like pretend for a while. Like, ah, man, I, I really busted up my shoulder. It could just be like, I got a really bad like bruise or something. I got to wear this for a week, whatever. Yeah. I'm just glad you're okay, Bella. <laughs> or something. But no, <laughs> Carlisle, because they only take Bella and Tyler to the hospital and not Edward. So Carlisle's just like, uh, yeah, you're hurt, but you'll be okay. So, and Tyler's like, ah, shit, man, I'm so sorry. And Charlie, Bella's dad, just closes the curtain, and that just ceases his ability to exist. So he just doesn't talk after he does that. Yeah, just like, no. And like Everyone's no. so pale. Tyler is so pale. He's black. He's pale as shit. He's black, but he's so pale. I don't even know if that's an actor thing or if it's just... This fucking, like, lighting they've got going on. I joke that you guys gotta start checking your water, because apparently everyone just looks terrible in this town. <laughs> then oh, we get, like, Bella walking through the hospital, and the Cullens are there. Edward's talking with, like, a couple of the other Cullens. 
And you, you said that she acted really weird in this scene. Ah, oh, what was... It was, uh, oh, the blinking was very heavy on Oh, this, yeah, she just it? blinked, like, a hundred fucking times while talking to Edward. Edward looks terrible, and Kristen Stewart is blinking, like, 35 times. Yeah. She's like, you saved me. How did you save me? You jumped in front of the car. And Edward's like, no one's going to believe you. Fucking red flag right there. That's, like, gaslighting terminology 101 right there. Also... Try to make yourself not sound like. Try to make yourself sound like a vampire speedrun. <laughs> really, just absolutely. And like don't Edward's work. fine, and he won't explain that how he saved her, and then he says it was adrenaline or something. You couldn't get a sling from fucking Carlisle. Couldn't get a sling from Carlisle to play it off. So Bella goes home after being in the hospital, and Edward's in her room. <laughs> Yeah, he's just there. <laughs> he's in her fucking bedroom, and then she does a double take, and he's gone. And it's like, oh my god, you're so bad at this, Edward. <laughs> Edward, how have you not been given final death already? Edward, how, <laughs> how have how you not you been bad? staked? You are so bad at this. You've had like eight decades of this shit you, to pull it off. You had so long to pretend you were a teenager that I think you'd fucking get it at some point, but you can't. And he's thinking about the truck and the dent over and over again and Edward and the truck. And then Mike shows up. Mike jump scare. Mike jump scare. He asks her to the prom, but Edward's leering at her again across the street. And, and she doesn't really want to go to prom. She wants to go to the library. And or Mike is just like, prom? Want to go to prom? Prom? Um. And then he starts, like, fading out because she's, like, staring at Edward and he, like, ceases to exist. <laughs> and then this Boston-sounded guy just tells everyone to get on the bus. Like, hey, get on the bus! That's the science teacher. The science yeah, teacher. But the bada just... Come on, motherfucker. Let's get on, like, ah, get on the bus now. Let's go to, let's go to the nature place that I want to go this to. Girl, hey. Scene, I'm, just to be sure, was this or was it a later scene where Edward punches a bus and starts talking about? It, I was like, our bus is full. Like, no, that's like, later. That's later. Okay. So well, we go jump, to like the, a, no, we jump straight into the biology place with the plants. The yeah, they go to the plant place and they just empty this random plant juice and go here, have some compost tea. Compost tea. Yeah, and they're Edward, like they're compost. Edward's tea. asking because he wants to know what Jacksonville is. <laughs> What's it like in Jacksonville? And also just like, hey, we can't be friends. And okay? Bella's just like, how do you know that I was talking about moving to Jacksonville? And he's like, I, I can hear. I, he was like a good 40 feet from them. And he's like, I heard. F I, I, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Bella, and then he's not like, a... Jessica walks up and he just takes the time. Just peel off and run for it. Yeah. He's so bad at this. Yeah, he just runs off. <laughs> He just kind of, he just, he, I've, I just, he's I don't got know a how. whole family to tell him how to act around people in public. This is not even his first time in high school. He's had eight decades of this. Eight decades of this. And he's this terrible at being a vampire. Almost nine at this point. If we accept that this is, if we accept that this is happening in 2005 Stephen, when the original was. Stefan covers his ass like so much easier. Like and he, he doesn't even look like a high school. No, he looks like a 30-year-old man. <laughs> but at the same time, you can believe he's at least a human. He's a human, and also, like, that he pays attention and stuff. And he's just kind of weirdly old-looking for a, for a high schooler. He's like, eh, just don't judge. Eh, just fuck it, right? <laughs> right. At some point, you're just like, eh, it's a TV show. It's just, yeah. I, I'm paying attention to it because, of, like, you look like you're 28. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, why'd you even save me? I, I wrote, that's not how buses work? What the fuck? I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, that might be around where the, the our bus is full. Oh, oh yeah, the our bus is full thing happened. Yeah, that was, like, at some point they eventually get onto different buses. And like, oh, our bus is full. And then like, Edward punches the bus door and it's like, you son of a bitch, that bus driver's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Edward's Don't hanging out with his family him. again. Uh, Eric and Mike are fucking with each other. Mike are fucking around. I think... 
I think we're eventually do. Uh, yeah, Bella drops an apple and Edward does like a little kick and grabs the apple and we were just both like apple. Apple. <laughs> we're just eight brains. Stupid. We're both idiots. <laughs> both idiots. They discuss uh Edward and Bella kind of talk about like how like how did, you, how did you save me again? And she how says, did you stop the she says like were you bitten by a For radioactive spider? Are you powered? Like, it's like radioactive spiders and kryptonite. That's my theory. And I just wanted Edward to go like. <laughs> Edward's like, Edward actually, be like, Bella, kryptonite is Superman's weakness. He's a Kryptonian and he gets powered by the power of the yellow sun. <laughs> which, which I don't see. <laughs> which I don't see because we live in fucking forks. <laughs> we live in Washington. If you want sunlight, you go to spoons. <laughs> <laughs> if you want sunlight, you go to spoons. Like, well, you gotta be careful. There Bella are raccoons accuses him of being Spider Man, but and also she asks Edward if he wants to hang out at the beach because they're going to the beach. Edward's got like one of his sleeves up, and you can see how hairy his fucking arm is. He is hairy arm. He's got a hairy ass arm, but he's got like a perfectly shaved chest later. And then they go to this fucking beach, and it's so cold and miserable. <laughs> Serious fuck. I I wrote down, dude. The mist had more lighting than this. It's this sad, dry ass Pacific Coast beach. Not dry, like wet, gravelly, fucking beach. There's a fog in the distance. There's a fog in the distance. You can see people's breath when they talk. Sometimes it's like forty five degrees outside. Everyone's wearing like jackets and beanies, <laughs> except for like Mike and. Uh, Mike and, the, Mike and Eric, who are wearing like surfer getups, and it's just like, it's so fucking cold. <laughs> uh. And like fucking uh, Jacob and one of his uh, Native American friends, or one of his Native American family members, show up, and like they're wearing beanies and jackets. And it's like, are you sure that we're going to the fucking beach? <laughs> Like, and it's like, yeah, hey, it's... Jacob, what are you doing here? And it's like, uh, we go on trips too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to the beach that's near our territory. That's near our territory. And the Collins don't go here. The Collins don't go here because it's the beach. They're like, beach, oh, where's oh. Edward? I, I don't know where Edward is. You no, know, the thinking about this beach, I remember, like, the very first chapter of a series of unfortunate events happens on like a like a rainy cold ass day at the beach and the bold layers are the only ones there and they like it that way because because if it was sunny and warm the beach would be super crowded yeah with like people but well, it just makes me think why is it why are you here when the beach is bad 80 percent of 80 percent of the beaches on the pacific coast are like these rocky bluffs that are just like terrible for swimming because it's full of rocks and like the water is cold as hell. You like, want to go to like a California beach. The only time you get a good beach is if you go down to fucking California. And especially like yeah. you have to go past Sacramento before you start getting like good beaches. <laughs> you have to go to fucking Venice Beach or some shit. Like you got to go yeah. down to L.A. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go to Venice Beach where Sting is. Yeah. Yeah, Sting. Surfer Sting's there. Surfer Sting. Everyone's so pale and it looks so miserable outside. Jacob starts talking about how, like, his clan, the whatever. I don't know. Quaaludes. The Quaaludes. Quaaludes. <laughs> Quaaludes. Not the Quaaludes. I know. I'm not. I would like to apologize to all, all indigenous people who hear this, who hear this podcast. That my pronunciation is ass. I'm Quil not Quillutes? Quill Quill dude. I I, I think he says of, I keep thinking of Quaaludes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right either. Is it a real tribe? Yes. Maybe they should have went with Sebi Meyer and... attached some fake mythology to it. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> oh, white good people. old white people writing Native American. <laughs> Just rough man <laughs> i wanted to write a native american character but i wanted to actually like give it a sh give it give a shit like give i researched shit. like the region they're in and the tribes that belong to that region that that kind of shit and i wanted to like, like make sure i didn't 
put in some random bullshit. <laughs> or put in anything that was potentially, like, stereotypical. Yeah, she's just like, he's just like, Are, did you know our clan's, like, descended from wolves and stuff? Like, real wolves? It's not. The that's Collins, not the thing. The Collins are from an enemy clan. White people. <laughs> white people. White people. But not the regular white. They're, like, worse than white people. Because they, they crack open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> They crack over the boy with the cold ones. <laughs> this piques Bella's curiosity. <laughs> yeah, that's what imp implores her to get a book about. Then he calls ones her a Native white American. person. Calls her a pale face. And it's a like, pale well. face. And then, like in the background, there's this guy who found like a dead snake or something. He's chasing after one of the one of the school members. <laughs> it's, she's like, I think it's like Mike chasing after Jessica or something with a snake. The snake, and it's like, why the fuck was there a snake on this beach? And then, it's so cold. To break up the uh, fact that absolutely fucking nothing is happening, we get another death. <laughs> we get another attack. It's Waylon, the Santa guy. Waylon, the Santa guy at the uh, dock, and three people come after him. There's a blonde pervert, there's a red haired girl in like a fur jacket, and then there's a. <laughs> there's a black guy who has a British accent, and he's wearing a cravat. <laughs> he's wearing a fucking cravat, like, and I, I didn't remember this. Like, I did not remember they had a cravat in this scene. Like, he's he got a buttoned-up so, jacket. He looks so out of place. He looks so out of place. And like, oh, you're going to ask, who are we, and what are we doing? And then we're just going to kill you and stuff. <laughs> and then they kill him and stuff. Yeah, they kill him. Bella is... Going through some intense Googling. <laughs> some intense Googling. She goes to Amazon.com and looks up whale books. Then she goes to Google Maps. <laughs> and she starts looking up, like, Legends of the Cold Ones. And uh, that's later. Uh, but... Yeah, oh, okay, that's later. Oh, yeah, she's looking for the bookstore. That's right. Uh, when it's, it's sunny outside, it still looks like shit. Edward's, Edward's missing. Uh, Bella's talking with her friends about going to this like small town that she Googled earlier because she wants to go to that bookshop. And they want to get dresses for the prom. One of her friends says, oh, Mike me asked me out to the prom. Awesome. Let's go shopping. And then they go shopping. Yeah. And then there's like just yeah, some you... weird guys who walk by while they're trying on shirts and going, woo, teenagers. Ooh, teenagers. Teenagers. <laughs> 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 uh. Foreshadowing till... Five minutes oh, yeah. later. <laughs> yes. Bella, Bella eventually Bella like, goes gets to out. a store and just buys a random Native American book. Just one. Native American folklore book. Just one which, Native American folklore book. She didn't even grab more than one. You which, know, yeah, you think you'd want to because like, like different tribes have different folklores, you know? You said that Bella is a voracious reader in fucking uh, in like the books, right? In the books, she does mention reading a lot, but also a lot of what she reads is also just stuff that's, like, required reading in schools. Yeah, but imagine if, like, Bella used her knowledge of reading to buy, like, seven fucking, like, folklore books from this guy and just has yeah, all of them open on a table and, like, cross-referencing them with the like internet. flipping through pages, highlighting sections. Flipping through pages, highlighting sections, go, like, double-checking on the internet. Like, just real sleuth shit. I feel like that would make her so much cooler than she is. That, that would have been way better. That would have actually established something It would about have established her. that she was good at something. <laughs> that she had something she liked, like books. Like, even if she's burned out from just being a teenager and how much it sucks having, like, two parents who don't love each other. Like, yeah, being, being in the middle of a divorce, of divorced family life. I just feel like if she just went to town on fucking... I'm going to find out this, like, vampire shit right now. And they're, like, getting, like, seven books. The, she would, I don't know. The, what's be, these cold ones? Like, what are the cold <laughs> ones? Who's cracking open the boys? <laughs> Who's cracking open the boys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she goes to a back alleyway, and then all those people who, like, watched her get shopping, or watched her shopping, are like, Oh, hey, girly. You're in the wrong side of town, girly. Oh, Yo, you look pretty. I'm going to touch you. You want you want to hang with us? Want to hang with us? And Bella's like, "Don't touch me! I don't didn't... touch me! Punch!" I, oh no, kicks, she hits the guy in the crotch. Kicks him in the dick, and then Edward comes out in a Volvo. 
<laughs> he Trying power slides his Volvo. <laughs> nearly hits a few of them. He and nearly like, hits ah. a few of them, and he's like, that's enough. She's coming with me. Just kind of tries that angry stare. It's just like, I don't know if I'd buy it. I know there's supposed to be probably be some supernatural element to him. Like he can, he can presence but... himself to people, but there's that's Maybe. never been established. <laughs> <laughs> Never been established, and honestly, he doesn't look all that intimidating. No, he's got that stupid haircut. His his oh, blowout is way is... worse than I remember it being. Blowout is pasty fucking face. His fucking he's got these like dark eyebrows and his slimy looking face. I would not be, and there's like four dudes. He could take them, or he they could take him. Edward then is he... like quickly driving through the street once she like. He does, he, try, he does, like, drive kind of close to them and kind of scares them off. Yeah. But then he also just starts barreling onto the street at <laughs> he, high speeds. He barrels onto the speeds with Ella and Bella, and they both don't have seatbelts. <laughs> like, dude. Edward kind her... of implies that he can read minds because he's like, you need to know what they were thinking. Like, you, if you understand you, you what they were thinking, you don't get it. If you understood what they were thinking, you'd be, like, much more scared than you are right now. And she's like... What do you mean by that? He's like, I don't know. I, I, I can check people's vibes. <laughs> Read people. Click it or take it, Edward. Come on. It, I, yeah, put your goddamn seatbelt on. Her dad's chief of police. You do not want to get it. You do not want to piss off the chief of police of the girl you're, you're dating. Especially in a small town like this. I say dating, but they barely give a shit about each other. <laughs> that, that you have in your car for some reason. Let's see, where were we? Uh, uh, they kind of catch they, up with they, they Jessica and They drop off with Jessica and Angela, and Edward's just like, uh, just make sure she comes home safe tonight, okay? Well, he stops, he stops to get her some dinner. Let's go get some dinner, and then they go get some ravioli ravioli. <laughs> the mushroom ravioli, and Edward doesn't want to eat anything because he continues to be just so bad at He continues to be the worst vampire. <laughs> He's like, the I'm worst. on a diet. Yeah. Diet. Order a I glass of a, water. A water. If someone a water would be enough. Order a glass of water. If Bella asks you why aren't you eating anything, just say I ate earlier. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I yeah, just wanted to make hungry. sure that you know you were okay and you had food. And then she's like, "How'd you find me?" And he's just like, "I didn't. I just was there." <laughs> For some reason, it's like, yeah, Jesus Christ. There's, I don't know what's more like obvious. That he's a vampire, that he's stalking her. And then, like, this diner lady with this severely outdated high hairstyle talks to them. And I'm just like, hey, order some fucking water! And then they start talking about the square root of pi. Well, he's, like, trying to dodge... He's trying to be funny and dodge the question of how did he stop the truck or how did he know she was there. And then eventually he's like, oh, I could read anyone. as like, what they're thinking of as, like, money, sex. Money. Money, sex, sex cat. That guy's like, ooh, cat. <laughs> like, that guy's missing his boy. You know, sometimes you just got a boy, and you're just like, I love my boy. He's a little stupid baby. Yeah. <laughs> like my boy. Guy... Like my boy. I love my boy. <laughs> is he... Oliver is a great boy, but he is also a complete dumbass. <laughs> he is so... He is scared of my fan. <laughs> He's scared of the fan. He's scared of sizzling food. He's scared of the... He's scared of the sugar bag. He's scared of sugar bags. <laughs> And then he's like, the thing that interests me about you about Bella, the thing that interests me about you about I, I just hear nothing with you. I look in your head, and I just hear nothing. Like, no sex, no money. No sometimes, sometimes you think about the band Cold Chamber, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, I just can't imagine somebody thinking about Cold Chamber. Who the fuck listens to Cold Chamber, Bella? I haven't met. Bella just slams her hands on the table. Hey, hey! <laughs> they were a Paramount no, band in the early 2000s, and they were they were riding that wave of new metal along with Static X and <laughs> and Limp Bizkit. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. Sadly, no, that doesn't that happen. That would be so hilarious, though. They're driving home, and then they kind of bump hands. He's like, he's got a, he's got a cold hand. His hands all His cold. Hands cold. Ice. Icy cold hand. And then the, cold they find the ice. police that are at the docks, and she pulls over. It's like, oh, the police chief's here. That's my dad. 
And then Carlisle's there. <laughs> yes. Carlisle, Carlisle walks out there. and he's like, oh, there's been a killing in here. I, I was brought down to check. You're not a coroner. <laughs> You're not a coroner. Coroners are like, like a completely different department Coroners are a hospital. different de You're like a general practitioner because I don't know what fucking degree you have. So I'm going to say general medicine. You're, that's not a coroner. <laughs> it's not a coroner. Like, you need completely different skills to be a coroner, I imagine. Maybe there's some similar skills, but, like, coroners aren't really interested in saving anybody. They're like, how did you die? I gotta make sure I write down an accurate like, they're report. There to, they're there to make sure they know your cause of death. Yeah, like, did you die of a heart attack? Did you get killed by three ridiculously dressed vampires? <laughs> like... Like, did you get mauled by a raccoon? We need to figure this out. So Be Bella gets some weird vibes of like, so she sees like the dead guy getting pulled out and then starts thinking about Edward again. Because I guess the dead guy's pale. So now she, she takes her died? one book and her, and her laptop and goes back into aggressive Googling. Yeah. To be fair, there is a nice little scene that's not in the books because this whole stuff's not in the books. I've heard she's kind of comforting her dad. This that was his friend. Yeah, he does comfort her dad. She does comfort her dad. Uh, this book is several hundred pages, and it just has so little in it that they had to add shit to a movie. <laughs> like I think I remembered one thing they cut out, which was a like a prophetic dream that Bella has, or like she's kind of sitting in, like on a rock somewhere and just kind of daydreaming. About like Jacob telling her to run from like a that, monster. That sounds like a re that sounds like a recap, <laughs> like an in universe recap. It's not really. It's it's supposed to be like a bit of foreshadowing of, oh no, like run from the monster Edward. She doesn't want to run from Edward, and it's like so it's a, she it's a she, weird she goes scene. and googles a website about the cold ones. Yes, and cracking open a boy. She she. Like, she looks at this various thing of like, this is what a cold one is in each culture, such like as China, Egypt, India, Peru, Japan, and Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it's so, it's so Pacific. It's so Pacific, in fact. It's so of, Pacific Northwest of them. <laughs> that it's like. Not even like America. Or North America. North America or like there's like a South nearby and it could be South America. American continent or something like that. Like just anything you like just the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Only click the Pacific Northwest option now. <laughs> then she starts the looking up key... in, the, in the entirety of America where vampires to When she clicks the Egypt similar. page, she gets the papyrus font and like hieroglyphs. When she clicks the India one, she gets this weird monster with, like, black hair. And she looks at, like, these old pictures of, like, medieval people and bloodletting and all that shit. Just yeah. Key, key, like, highlights keywords such as undead, speed, strength, strength. cold skin, immortal, immortal drank blood. blood. And then they cut cold to a skin. flashback and, like, Edward's got black hair and he's got makeup on and he looks like Robert Smith from The Cure. It looks like Robert Smith. Yeah, it's like a fantasy sequence. It's of a him fantasy sequence a of him biting a woman, <laughs> and it's oh just like God. it all comes together. You vampire, and I think we cut just to her and Edward having a stare down, and then going. They're staring into at school, and I kind of realized one of my problems with like Bella's body language is she stares a lot but it's never really established what she's staring at most of the time. <laughs> like, she's supposed to be staring down Edward here, but it more looks like she's staring off into the middle distance. This looks like she's like, oh, I saw a bird. <laughs> like, uh. And then Edward just stares oh. back, and then they both just quietly walk into the woods without saying anything. They had to go to this random clearing deep in the woods for the, oh, you're a vampire, see? <laughs> yes, the... The, the, the music is going so like loud. <laughs> it's under cranking like fuck. They're under cranking. The music's real loud. Bella's like, everything about you says that you're. Edward's like, say it. <laughs> Vampire. 
you're a vampire. How long have you been 17? And the camera starts spinning around them. And he's like, you speak from a different time. And it's like, no, no you don't. You speak like you're a weirdo. <laughs> he's... He speaks like he has a learning disability. He speaks like he's neurodivergent. I'm he, sorry. He speaks like he has brain damage. <laughs> like he has brain damage. I'm like sorry. he got hit in the head. <laughs> he, his his speech pattern is not antiquated. He's just it's it's just it's like especially it's, here you can tell that his face and his neck are two different colors. It's like when I was like this definitely reminds me of my speaking patterns in high school. Just, when your just brain like, can't put words together and they kind of like fall out of your mouth. And you're kind of forced into a social situation, so you have to talk, but you don't really want but to. But you think that like vampires just, have enough time to build like a charisma about them. Like you've spent a long time. You, you, you spent a long time in the social aspect of high school. So many years. So many, so many years, years in high school. Just like you think you would develop like a persona for yourself or like a personality that you could fall back on. But no, not with Edward. No, he's just the most awkward. He's the most in the awkward world. motherfucker. And he grabs Bella by the arm and starts pulling her and then throws her on his back and then he fucking they they wire foo his ass up the hill. <laughs> he is he is fast as fuck boy. I'm fast as fuck boy. <laughs> And then we get to the most egregious choice of Twilight. Edward uh, and his woke up in a gay bar, like, shiny skin. <laughs> woke up after a hangover at the gay bar. Yes, when he steps in the sunlight, he sparkles. I know. Shines. You know, I thought it was always, like, he shines, like, not like glitter, per se. I thought he, like, I thought he, like, glistened in the sun. But no, yes. he is, like, a metallic paint job. <laughs> He, he is he is so sparkly. He's got like a rainbow like through his skin. This was apparently based on a dream where she where it was like Steffi Meyer in a field with a glowing monster or something. I'm a diamond man. I'm so shiny. Bella, you and don't understand. And... This is the skin of a kill this is the skin of a killer. I got hit with glitter once and it never came off. <laughs> Never! It just keeps growing! The glitter won't go away. I've showered hundreds of times, Bella. I've been alive since 1911 or some shit. I cannot, get, yeah. I cannot get this glitter off me. Like, she says it's beautiful, and he says it's the skin of a killer. Both wrong, really. And he's so melodramatic about it, too. This so is the skin of a killer, Bella. So he's so fucking melodramatic about and then it. He's it's like, just like, and then he has to establish, like, I'm a monster, Bella. You can't outrun me. I'm faster than you. I can as pull you, up. It's so great. He just, as like, you jumps, can outrun me. He just jumps on random trees in the background while he's doing this, and he's like, I'm stronger than you. I can rip this fucking tree branch and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, and then we get to the other fun line of this scene. You're like my own personal brand of heroin. <laughs> you make me really tired and <laughs> just absolutely insane. Shit. And he's like, I wanted to kill you, <laughs> and El and Bella's like, I trust you. Uh, I'm no. not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> I don't know. When did you I... turn the corner? <laughs> why do you, honest, you? Why do you like him now? <laughs> you should be scared. This guy, even if he wasn't a vampire, just admitted, even fucking Elena I had a whole you. like. All right, you're a vampire. I'm out. Kind of moment. I'm out. I'm done. She she got the fuck out immediately. She got the fuck out, and she had to, he had to win her back over by not being a piece of shit. <laughs> like Edward like is this... just like teleporting into trees, and he's squatting like he's Andy Circus. Then he kind of really? like falls out of a tree, but it cuts to him walking like it never happened. <laughs> she says she's afraid, but she's afraid of. That he's gonna leave her, I... and that she she loves him and she trusts him, like unequivoc unequivocally. And I'm like, when did uh, Edward ever earn this treatment? <laughs> she she is irrevocably in love with him. Yes, and he's like, Why? this is one fucked up sheep, and I'm one fucked up lion. <laughs> I'm I'm a real pervert lion. I'm a real pervert lion, and you're a cute little. You're a cute little deer with a little deer head. <laughs> yes, it's... Then they lay I, in a field of vervain. 
<laughs> and then the sun hits him again. He starts glittering. And then after all this shit happens, Bella wakes up in her bed like that. She just had the worst hangover in her fucking life. And that's another thing I don't like about Bella. She's so lethargic <laughs> that even There's when she's no... excited or in danger, she's like, mm -hmm. uh, 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 fuck. Like she's too busy being willowy to do anything else. <laughs> Genuinely, I can't imagine wanting to watch this over Empire Diaries. Uh, Edward's outside with his sick Volvo. <laughs> sick Volvo. And then they pull up to the school and he gets out and he's got this doofy-ass pair of sunglasses. He's got Ray-Bans on. He's got them Ray-Bans on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. He looks so silly. And, like, he, he has a completely different personality now. Like, he developed, he just got his charisma back all of a sudden. Those sunglasses, man. It's them sunglasses. They were... Oh, excuse me. I feel like they were overcompensating for the fact that, like, they wanted to make sure that Edward wasn't in the sun, so they, he wouldn't be glittering all the time. So they overcorrected the colors to shit. Oh, God, just so... That's my only so guess. Brutal. That's probably correct. He, he talks about how Carlisle found him back during the Spanish flu of, like, 1800s, or 1918. And he turned him into a vampire. But, like, to become a vampire, they have, like, teeth venom. <laughs> like they have you can, venom in their fangs. And you, have have to, like, you have to give kill. them a... You gotta give them a squirt. <laughs> you gotta squirt them yeah. when you're drinking you their bite blood. Them and put, you gotta yeah, bite them and fucking shoot in, and you gotta make sure you have the strength to not just fucking eat them. Yeah, so to become a vampire, you gotta be venomed. <laughs> Fucking weird. I don't get it. This is why this is why it's usually you gotta like, you know, fucking put your own blood in the human and then I don't know, maybe kill him or something. Sometimes it's like blood in the human, then they drink your blood, or like sometimes it's like that you put your blood in them and then you drain theirs or something like that. Or, or you, you drain, drain theirs, theirs put, yeah. you drain theirs and then you put yours in. And that's usually how you turn them into a vampire, I think. Yeah. Usually, yeah. Bella's trying to wash her uh, so Edward talks about how like he can read minds and Alice can see the future but the powers they have vary a little bit so not everyone can do that and I'm just like, like whatever <laughs> and like Alice's powers are subjective and if, if, if she can see like, the future the kind of if they change their mind the future will change so it's kind of not useful in any way <laughs> it just seems like <laughs> plot vision maybe <laughs> Bella's trying to wash her truck, and Edward's just walking on it like a weirdo. And Bella's like, can you please act human? <laughs> yes. <laughs> please. Like, great question. Good, good, good question, Bella. <laughs> good question, Bella. That's... <laughs> like, we've been, we've been struggling to get him to do that. He fixes her truck, the, the den he put in it. He puts and a den in her truck, and then he just, like, pops it. Edward wants to invite Bella to his house. She accepts. As he's leaving in his Volvo, uh, Billy Black just stares at him for a bit through the window of his truck. Jacob yeah, and his dad want to go to Bella's house because they want to watch Ichiro. <laughs> they want to watch the Mariners. They want to watch that Mariners game. They want to see Ichiro hit some fucking dinger. Hell yeah. They brought the Mariner. They got the Mount Rainier beer. <laughs> got some uh, fish fry. Fish fry. Uh, Edward picks up Bella and he super speeds, letting the woman out of the car. And then they go to the fucking Cullen's house, which is fucking terrible. <laughs> That's it an is, absolute shit place. It, it's this postmodern hellscape of a house where one of the sides is entirely glass. <laughs> we thought this was the house from Lab Rats. We thought it was the house from Lab Rats. There was this, like, an entire side is glass. No shit. And, like, There's they're this. like, oh, this is the only place where we can be ourselves. And it's like, everyone can see you. People <laughs> can see you. You're all in here. And fucking the Collins are like, uh, Bella, like, Isabella's Italian, right? Let's make some Isabella's fucking. Isabella's an Italian name. She'll like Italian, right? Let's just it's make like... her some Olive Garden, whatever. <laughs> they're watching, like, Mario Batali on TV or whatever the fuck. And yeah, like... They're watching, like, a chef do some sort of Italian cooking. And they're trying to cook. As the as like Bella comes in, and it's like this is the first time we ever used a kitchen, and it's like why do you have a kitchen? Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> why do you have a kitchen? 
Oh, we'll get to Ed- we'll get to Edward later, but it's just like this is uh this is the another like this is the more like more introduction to the Cullens. We meet you know as um as May the mom, as May the girl, the other girl, Alice. Uh, Rosalie's there. Rosalie, and she's she, um she's mad that Edward told them they're vampires. Uh, and they're breaking the masquerade. And it's like, or they're risking it. And then they all laugh because she's like, "If you guys are mad at me, you'll kill me." <laughs> yeah, at one point, like, like fucking Edward kind of ruins the mood about the Italian and says, "Oh, Bella already ate," and fucking Rosalie like smashes the salad bowl in her bare hands. God damn it! <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, after that awkward thing, Bella's like, "It went great, I guess." So they kind of go up the stairs. And then Al- actually, by a, they pass by another window. Alice is there on a tree. <laughs> yeah, Alice is walking on a tree with Jasper. Jasper, who's in pain, as we all the time. All the and time. Alice is all cheery. It's like, oh, we're gonna be great. We're gonna friends, be great Bella. friends. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> I don't. Man. I don't know if you're gonna be friends. I don't know. I don't know. You guys don't mix. <laughs> you are. You are too cheerful for Bella. So they come across this entire wall of graduation caps, and they're like, "Ah, eh, it's an in joke between all of us." And it's we like, "Stay longer." We're, we say we 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 play younger to stay longer, but it's like, can you imagine just constantly wrecking the grading curve? Yeah, like that. Also, they, just like you guys haven't learned anything from being in high school this fucking often. <laughs> you fucking Edward has had like fucking like okay, so let's say eight. Let's say eight decades, 20 high school. Eight decades, 20 high schools, four years per high school. Maybe some, we'll give him a year to find a new place to sit, you know, like a new place yeah. to go to. But like 20, 20 high school runs and you still haven't gotten this down. So they go into Edward's room, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen because Edward doesn't have a bed. <laughs> he doesn't have a bed. <laughs> and he's like, why don't you have a bed? And it's because I don't sleep. And I'm like, Motherfucker. oh my god, you are the worst vampire. <laughs> you you are, are so bad at this. You don't even this have is... a fucking place to chill if you're tired or maybe like, I don't know. Just not lay down. Do you not no, sit I... sometimes? <laughs> I don't want to lay down. I guess there's like kind of a sofa thing. But like, just, I don't know. Fucking, fucking get a like a, uh, what's a fucking, a futon. Get a futon. Buy a futon. Get a bunk bed like or something like get a bed get a fucking sleeping bag just something to make people think you might still be human edward has a big music collection but it's too blurry for us to see it in this footage if somebody out there has managed to successfully unblur and like blow up these fucking cds we we want to know what what songs edward listens to because he just plays debussy He plays Claude Debussy. He plays like Claire de Lune because you don't is have to pay specific? anyone. I think it is specifically Claire de Lune. It's a cover of Claire de Lune, actually. It's not the original. Yeah. It's a, it is, yeah, it, but we, yeah, it's Claire de Lune. And we were joking piece. about Dang and Rapa, just like, man, it really sucks what happened to Kaya Day. <laughs> <laughs> we were just making fucking like, Dang and Rapa be free jokes because it's Claire de Lune. And then they kind of like. And then Edward just nooms her on his back and then jumps out the window. Ah, uh, yes. The you better hold on tight spider monkey scene happens. Better hold on tight spider monkey. And he's climbing a fucking tree like a... Like, you can tell he's being pulled up by a rope and his hands are just going... Nyeh, 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 nyeh. He's pawing at this fucking tree. He is not putting any, like, weight into, like... His whole climbing. house is glass and he fucking sleeps standing up. He's blowing our fucking cover. Someone, he climbs trees for fun. He climbs trees for fun. Someone stop him. <laughs> and Somebody then they cut to him, man. and he's playing a fucking piano <laughs> in, like, a music video or some shit. He's playing more Debussy. More, he's playing more Debussy. And <laughs> the hipster we're vampire... <laughs> we're such children. The vampire hipsters are running from the cops, because the cops are, like, sniffing him out with doggies and stuff. And then yeah. Charlie comes across a foot. Comes and across, the, like... Yeah, like uh, Victoria leaves a footprint to 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 put him on the trail or Wait, so, to get him off the trail. Wait, is this feet pics? <laughs> <laughs> I found the feet pics. <laughs> feet pics in the dirt. Feet pics in the dirt. Hmm. 
Uh, so they call her Ari like they call Bella Arizona next time yeah, she goes to, to school. Like, we cut, yeah, we cut to like the park. Oh, they go to the diner. Mike Sorry. Well, we're not at the diner yet. We're at the parking lot. Mike calls Bella Arizona, and it's just like that's a great nickname. That's a cool nickname, but not for someone as pale and as boring as not Bella for is. Bella. Bella feels like she never even existed in Arizona. If and you they told me that like the whole that she had been here forever in Washington, I'd believe you. Yeah. So uh, they walk in. So after she talks to fucking Mike for a bit, she goes in and oh my god, Stephanie Meyer, she's in the Stephanie diner. Meyer cameo. She's she looks so. She bit. looks so fucking happy. <laughs> she looks so. Yeah. She looks so zoinked for this. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, it's cool when you're like when you're the creator of like the original work of. And like, you're in the movie. Adapting. I feel like that's cute. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> that's cool. I like that when like Stephen King got called an asshole by an ATM. If, if we ever show up in something we write, I want to be. If a, that ever gets adapted. I want to be a guy in the story who just gets his ass kicked with no for no reason. I just want it's a guy. To, out of I, I want to get like ju- I want to get like jumped. <laughs> You just want to get, like, beaten up by, like, you're just, like, a mook in, like, a fucking fight scene. Yes. Just somebody fucking wheel kicks you. It just, just throws sends. me through a window. <laughs> that's what <laughs> I That's what I want to have. I want to be defenestrated in my own movie. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bella's dad found feet pics in the woods. There's a bunch of weirdos along with Mike outside, and they're twerking in the diner window. <laughs> You're twerking in front of the chief of police and his daughter at a public diner. Bella's mom calls and she's like, hey, you want to go to Florida? Baseball. Baseball. And she's like, I like forks. And she's like, I think you'll like, I think you'll like it here in Jackson. Like, Renee, your daughter didn't even seem to like Phoenix all that much. Come on, man. It's the home of AEW. <laughs> Not yet the home of AEW. <laughs> Florida and like this is not where the impact zone is. The impact zone. That's in Orlando. <laughs> Damn it, that's in Orlando. You're right. Yes. She's like Forks is growing on me, and Bella's mom wants that hot goss. Like, oh, did you meet someone you like? Ooh. Hot goss. <laughs> We're talking about pure hot goss now. I think of when well, Calliope she, her Laurie mom, said her mom, that no one says hot goss anymore. <laughs> well, her mom, like, is calling her when she's in her bedroom. Yeah, it is. And she wants to know no. what boys she likes, because she's her mom. Did you find a boy? Did you find a boy? Like, it is definitely, this is definitely a moment where hot goss would actually be the, the fucking phrase that people use. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, where am I? Uh... Do we get to when they when they start making out? I think we get to when they start making out. Uh, they start making out because like yes. Edward's in her room. He likes watching her oh, sleep. This is, where, this is where he admits he likes watching her sleep, and it's just like that's weird. The red flags. <laughs> the red flags, man. This guy's a creepazoid, man. You gotta back the fuck off. <laughs> if he wasn't a vampire, this would be. Even if he wasn't a vampire, this would be weird ass behavior that he I. He looks would be... a little better now. I think they took some of his shitty makeup off. Some, but not all, as we later see in the same scene. He still looks pretty bad. <laughs> they kind of kiss and cuddle, and then we cut to Charlie downstairs. He's loading like, a fucking shotgun. <laughs> their kissing makes me think of, like, and I don't know if this is an actual trope in anime, where, like, two characters will, like, kind of put their, like, heads up against each other, and, like, a head button kind of go, like, kind of, like, push against each other. It other's reminds heads. me of wrestlers when they're feuding and the match is about to start, and they push their foreheads together, and they're, like, oh, rubbing, yeah, and they're, like, like, rubbing noses. <laughs> yeah, that's it, like, jaw-jacking each other. It does not... It has all the romantic energy of Naruto headbutting Gara. Gaara. <laughs> so, yeah, they cuddle, and then her dad's loading the shotgun. <laughs> And he's like, be nice. Be nice, Charlie. Be nice, Charlie. And he's like, I'll be nice. Whatever. <laughs> Let him in. Send him in. I just want to talk. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk. Uh, Edward invites her to play baseball. <laughs> they're, going to, they're going up to the mountains to play baseball because the conditions are good. Yeah, it's raining. That's good for baseball. That's a big thunderstorm. Then out. we get the... Goofy ass Muse fucking baseball montage. Muse vampire baseball. They're I all like a... they're twirling the bat. They're like jumping into the woods and shit. 
and then the hipster vampires show up. And like this scene's very memey. Like you could you it's funny. It's a it's a meme because it's like vampires playing baseball. Yeah. Honestly, I can kind of understand it from a character standpoint of like bonding. Like <laughs> they're trying to bond, they're trying to hold on to their humanity by playing, having fun. America's game. <laughs> America's past dive. Yeah. They don't have gloves, which I think is because I feel Meyer like Stephanie think... Meyer doesn't know a goddamn thing about baseball besides hit ball home run. <laughs> yes. He doesn't seem to understand that ball that baseball gloves are mainly used for like to improve your catching ability more than it is to protect your hands. And that's why they wear the gloves. And it's just but the this scene's fun in a silly way. It's fun and then the hipster vampires show up. Fucking Laurent, James and Victoria. Laurent, James, and Victoria, and they're here, and they're just like, oh, man, oh, you guys have been causing problems Oh, we've caught your ball. Uh, this is our hunting ground. And it's like, we are, you know, we live here. This is our place. You know, you guys should probably just leave. And you're like, we would yeah, like they're, to play. They're, the... they're, they're passing through. and We're just passing through. And then it's like, we would too would like to play the baseball. And, you know, they apologize for causing, like, a bit of, like, a little bit of a disturbance that kind of made things, you know, it's like, you guys kind of, like, caused a little trouble for us with all your all your hunting. But otherwise, <laughs> it's like, it seems like everything's going to go well. And then James kind of gets, like, real, he, like... He, he, caught, he gets some wind. He gets some stinky human wind <laughs> on him. Because that human wind stink, and it's like... <gasps> Oh, a hoomy. I smell a hoomy. And then they all just, I, like, hiss at each other like they're in Cats the Musical. <laughs> they're just, like, they're, like, fucking stancing up. They're stancing like up a, they're gonna have a fucking dance-off. <laughs> I was thinking, like, a like a fucking Pride FC fight was about to go off. So I was just like, like, no elbows. No to the groin. <laughs> in this corner, Edward Carlin! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would pay good money for Lene Hart to announce. <laughs> Lene Hart is of treasure. <laughs> He's great. Uh, so yeah, this starts. This starts off like the. This is the the tension. This is the scene. This is the climactic moment. Yeah, the it's game James. gets a rain delay, and then Edward just like throws Bill into a jeep, and he's like, "We got to get the fuck out of here." James is like fucking crazy i read James his mind is a tracker he 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 loves the hunt it's all about the hunt like and we gotta go to vancouver really and we gotta kill james and bella's like we're not going to fucking vancouver turn the car around what's wrong with you i got my dad my i, I got a dad here and she's like you gotta leave your dad and he could get hurt and like they eventually edward and bella stage like a breakup. They, they and stage like her... a breakup, and then she like pushes her dad away, and like says mean shit to Charlie, so he feels real bad. Yeah, like, to says kinda, that like, like I don't want to be stuck here with you, like mom was, and then she heads out the front door. It's just, it's <laughs> I don't give a shit about Ichiro, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> James <laughs> did find their house though, but she doesn't give a shit about Ichiro, and he just sits there like Ichiro's a once in a generation talent. And he's going to lead the Mariners to the World Series. <laughs> but it is it is actually a pretty, like, hard scene to watch. It's actually, like... Yeah, it was mean. Does. It was some hurtful shit she said. And she's very upset about it, too. Yes. So it's like... It plays out a lot better than the book, where it just, it just comes across as she doesn't even seem remorseful all that much. But, yeah, so they, they start making the drive... Either they're going to Vancouver or they're going to Jacksonville. I think they they eventually, uh, they eventually settle for going to Phoenix. They go to Phoenix. That's right. They they, they can't to drive Phoenix. to Jacksonville. Can't drive to Jacksonville. Her, her mom goes back to Phoenix. Actually, I think. Yeah. At some point, her mom goes back to Phoenix. Uh, as as she drives away, Edward leaps onto the truck and like jumps in through the driver's side window. Fucking Edward jump scare. Bella's going to. Bella just watches all her friends leave a store, and she's like, "I'm gonna miss my friends, my human friends that I don't really interact with." Yeah, they make it to the. Uh, they make it to the Cullen house, and Loren is there, and Laurent is just like, "I'm. I fucking hate James. I hate Victoria too. Fuck both of them. I don't. They're your problem. This, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I don't want anything to do with this. 
But also, they're very dangerous. Alex, Alice, please fix your hair. How's his hair got so worse So the, the Cullen family moves out, and they, like, take Bella's clothes, and they all start wearing them to, like, throw yeah. them off. They take yeah, they Bella wearing... in one car, and then they drive another car to throw them off again. Rosa- Rosalie has upset. issues because she's a bitch. <laughs> well, she's the only one who gives a shit about the masquerade. Am I the only one who gives a shit about the masquerade? <laughs> the only one who seems to be worried about the potential of exposure (laughs) yes it's like this this is fucking terrible and carlisle's like she's one of us now so uh go fuck yourself (laughs) yeah we're in charge edward and bella part ways and he's like i love you so fucking much you matter so much to me i want you to be happy i want you to be okay and we're like like only like a couple of months in the timeline when 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 did this happen (laughs) Because this was like, this started in like somewhere in March. It's a menster. And prom, junior prom is usually like what? In like somewhere like May or June, probably pre graduation or pre like pre end of the year. So there's only been a couple of months and it's already going off. Like this is too fast. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, there, there's footage of the Cullens running through the woods as they drive to Phoenix, Arizona. And James like, is hunting them the whole time, and it's like, why is he hunting this one fucking person this whole way? Besides, he he's loves bo- the hunt. He's bored. <laughs> like, he loves the hunt. It's it's exciting for him because Edward reacted. I don't know, man. They I do not establish this guy enough for me to care. I don't care. James is literally like a one-note villain. He sucks. He's boring as shit. He's so boring. They didn't give him any personality besides, I want to kill Bella because it would make Edward sad. Because fun. Because <laughs> fun. Hee hee ha ha. So he is so not. They couldn't throw off James. She, uh, Alice imagines like v- visions that he's in a room full of mirrors. There's a bunch of weird wishy cams. Well, they well they draw it out, and Bella's like, "That's the ballet studio where I used to take lessons, as a kid." She gets a call from her mom, and her mom like is acting really strangely. And then uh, James grabs the phone, and he's like, "I found your mom. She's in the Phoenix." School re- the schools didn't like like cover up their students like the school didn't protect their students records very well found your old address i don't remember the hostage storyline in the first fucking twilight i heard nothing like, about that like he does not know he did not know that this was a thing this is not a thing that gets parodied all that often yeah and i don't know what i think he was very confused when the twist eventually is bella like drives her way bella escapes and like drives her way to uh Escapes. She 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 slips by uh, oh. Alice and Jasper. Sorry, I got a notification. That was very strange. Yeah. Okay. Slips by Alice and Jasper to kind of go to the ballet studio to try to rescue her mom by herself for some inexplicable reason. And I think he tells her to come alone, but yeah. But it turns out, no, it wasn't her mom. It was a recording of her mom from when she was a kid. Also, they do this, like, on-again, off-again narration, and I feel like it would be better if Bella either narrated the whole thing or didn't narrate at all. Yeah. she narrated like that, a... like, I don't know when I'm going to die, but I want it to be protecting someone I care about yeah, or I've something like that. I've thought about how I'm going to die, but if it's to protect someone I love, that would be awesome. So it's footage of her mom and a tape recording of her, like, in a ballet outfit. James confronts her, and he she sprays him with mace. But it doesn't work like, because uh, you didn't buy vampire mace, Bella. <laughs> yeah, which is probably just, like, garlic juice. And then uh, she runs, James confronts her, and he's like, Oh, that was visually dynamic how you, spare, you sprayed me with mace. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's I got his camera. I don't think... You, so is he like a weird camera villain guy? Is, I he, th- is he trying to film like weird torture porn here? Is he trying to film weird torture porn? Because he like corners her and then she's like, and he's like, I want to see you suffer so I can show it to Edward and stuff. And she's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and also the question is, where did he get the tape and the, 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 the CRTV? Well, he's like, I, I went to your house. And it's like, player. you went to her house. You found her VCR tapes and a CRT and a VCR player, but you didn't also, find did you, her mom. <laughs> and also, did you play a whole bunch of tapes to find one 
where like where like Renee specifically asks where Bella is. Like and he's like Did you yeah, did you uh, did worried? you view the tape ahead of time to make sure that you you know where it is you know which one is the tape that you wanna like blackmail Bella with? <laughs> what, what if there isn't a tape like that? Well then you're fucked. <laughs> this is this is actually way dumber than if it was just she he had kidnapped her mom. He breaks Bella's leg in like an in, one of the interesting scenes in the movie because like Bella's <laughs> actually like in pain and shit. So so Kristen Stewart has to like react. Yeah, she's got to react, and then Edward shows up more. and he's real sweaty looking, and then they have a really really dark vampire fight scene, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, you're one of the fastest Cullens, but you're also one of the weakest." And then Edward's like, "I can still kill you though." <laughs> I'm like, just... then everyone's getting <laughs> thrown through mirrors and shit. Thrown in the floors. Edward like tries to abscond with Bella, but he gets thrown down and she falls through another mirror and gets the shit cut out of her. Fucking Edward spears James through the Edward floorboards. Edward spears James through the floorboards like this is WWE. Oh my god. And then Wonder. fucking uh, James wanders over and bites Bella with his poison teeth. <laughs> yes, there's some of the venom. Venom, venom, venom. get that venom. venom, 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 venom. Edward eventually pins him to a wall and rips his fucking throat out. The rest of the Cullens show up and they start a small bonfire and throw him in the bonfire after Alice breaks his neck. Alice like leaps on him like she's about to monkey flip on him. She's about to monkey flip like, him and snaps, snaps his neck, his neck. Like, he, like she's fucking Lu Wong in King of Fighters. It's amazing. Oh my god. Except she didn't what break if, her neck. What if with, that's how she did do it? Break his neck with her thighs. Break his neck with her thighs. And then just kind of lands on him and her ass is in frame for some reason. So Bella's dying, but also she's turning into a vampire at the same time. Carlisle, who's a doctor, is like like... Uh, she's gonna die, but she's also turning into a vampire, so do you want her to die, or do you want her to be a vampire? And Edward's like, no, neither. Bella starts having, like, to live. I want her to live, and then he starts sucking the blood out of her arm and the venom, except he can't stop drinking it because it's blood and yummy, yummy blood. And it's her delicious, like, super delicious stink blood. Super delicious blood stink. That just makes all the vampires, like... You smell And the weird good. part is everyone's like vibing near the bonfire where James is getting burned to death. <laughs> I wanted them to just be kind of going like, woo! Bella has like a bunch of weird montages of deer and fire and Edward and her and time lapses of her as a kid. And, and like Edward as a monster biting a lady and all this shit. And she's at the hospital and her mom's here. And as soon as she wakes up and sees the face of her mom, who's probably worried sick about her for whatever the fuck they told her happened, Bella's first words are, where's Edward? Where's Edward? And she's like, he's over there. And he's sleeping but in the corner. It's like, yo, this is your mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Fuck, Bella. <laughs> like, just, mom, what happened? Here's a weird like, question. I... Are they in Phoenix or did they go back to Forks? I don't know. Because she uh, says that she's going to go get her dad so that Bella can apologize. But is he in Phoenix or it, did they move to Forks? Like, are they in... I feel like they'd have to be in Phoenix because that's where she... The side of, like, the accident was. And I feel like driving all the way back to Forks would be weird. <laughs> and the funniest thing is, like, oh, I heard what happened from Edward. And they show, like, a visual. Like, this is some kind of dramatic reenactment. You fell down two flights of stairs and fell through in an entire window. <laughs> what the fuck? Where? <laughs> when? <laughs> Where is there, like, a two flights of stairs and a window to fall through like How that? How do you fall through a window fall falling down the stairs at the same time? <laughs> would, not, would, would falling out the window not cover everything? Well... Bella's mom falls for it, <laughs> and she heads oh, out she after saying that she wants to stay in Forks and she wants to apologize to her dad. Uh, she doesn't want to go to Jacksonville, even though that is the home of AEW <laughs> and the Jaguars. And the Jaguars. Edward kind of wants like her to leave. To the impact zone. Edward wants her to leave, but she doesn't want to leave him. And then they... And then she's wearing. Then they show up at home, and wear, Bella's wearing a big old boot. And they're going to prom together. Going to prom. They're going to like a casino themed prom. It's so weird. 
Yeah, it's like a Monte Carlo casino prom thing. As they go to the prom, Jacob's dad says, or Jacob shows up and she sa he says that his dad paid him to come tell Bella to break up with Edward. Because they'll, they'll be watching because, you know. Ooh. For, like, sequel hook, sequel the, hook. The werewolves, the sequel hook gang, yeah. Jacob gets shut down and he doesn't approve and he just kind of clambers off with a grumpy face. Is he's gonna go to the woods Edward. and he's gonna go do sit-ups until the next movie <laughs> gotta do some do some sick crunches to get his abs up they're all in the casino themed prom mike is with his date he's giving off finger guns finally we got finger guns in these hot idiots finger guns yeah we they, thought it was gonna be damon but it was mike newton they dance in like they dance beneath this like little gondola thing not the gondola like outdoor patio thing gazebo a gazebo <laughs> And she's just like, why won't you make me a vampire? And she's like, why do you want to be a vampire? And she's like, I'm dying. I'm dying I'm right now. Dying. I'm dying every, every second. second. Every day. And it's like, yeah, life. <laughs> you have a life. Stop being weird. Give me your vampire teeth, Venom Edward. Give me your vampire teeth, Venom Edward. And he, he kind of leans in towards her neck, but then he just kisses her. And he's just like, not yet. Not yet. You're, you're going to live a human life. And then that other vampire, the one that they didn't kill or track Victoria. down, Victoria, he's at the prom too. And then they roll somehow, the credits. Somehow, despite not being an enrolled student. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, she walks away, roll credits, set up for you, the You, like, no 12 stinger. minutes of credits, no stinger. No stinger, because, look, Iron Man had just come out, so stingers were not yet all the rage. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yes. I'm not sure if this movie's any good. <laughs> it, no, this is... But it doesn't ugh. suck in the way other people say it sucks. It's not fun, is it's the problem. It's not fun. It's got a couple fun bits. But there's a lot of boring shit. There's some stuff that either doesn't make sense or is just acted so weird that you can't get invested in it. And otherwise... Edward you, Cullen, so like Robert Pattinson... I don't know what's up with him. <laughs> well, he hated this movie. He, he hated, hated this, this movie from the start. And it feels like he's acting out of spite. <laughs> Pretty much said he was just basically, he saw Edward as a total creep and decided to play the part as is. Well, he did. <laughs> he, he clearly no, did. I can't, I can't say that his acting was good or bad because it's like, how do you judge that? Mr. Stewart just metric. doesn't have a director or something. The villains were <laughs> shit. Those were, the villains sucked. The villains were shit. I thought, there was, for some reason, I thought the villains were other Cullen members. But like that would have been that would have been interesting. Like a, a, like a civil war brewing between family that approve of Bella and disapprove of Bella, and thinking that Edward is risking their lives. That kind of shit. Like you could you could you could split that pretty close to the middle. Yeah, you could do like a three and three kind of deal. Yeah, because you got, like, you know, you got Edward, Carlisle, and Alice on one side. You got Jasper, Rosalie, and Emmett on the other. But Emmett's not really, like, hard on the side of, like... He, he's just kind of doing what his family tells him to do. He's doing what Rosalie tells him to do. Yeah. And Esme's kind of, like, torn between, he's like, oh, does, she just does not want the family to be fighting on no this fighting. shit. No fighting. No fighting. No, but I didn't think the villains would be some assholes. Just a couple of people. The thing is, the movie does more to build them up. In the book, they just kind of show up. Do they just show up? <laughs> they just show up in the chapter where the vampire baseball happens. The movie does more to build them up. It's sad. That's terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, I... This had a big soundtrack. I remember, like... A lot oh, yeah. of people hyping up the soundtrack. We got Supermassive Black Hole. Yeah, by Muse. I like Muse. There's some of their new, about, new albums aren't as great. Paramore, fucking, I love Paramore. <laughs> yeah, they. The Code was on the here. The Code's a great song. I love their new album. I love After Laughter. I also love the new one that I forgot the name of. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Uh, this is why. This is why. That's a great album. We've got uh, Leave Out All the Rest by Linkin Park, Rip Chester Bennington, good singer. Uh, there's something called Full Moon by the Black Ghosts. Full Moon by the Black Ghosts. I don't know much about them. We've got Spotlight 
Twilight Mix by Mute Math. I've heard of Mute Math. Probably all right. We got Go All the Way Into the Twilight <laughs> by Perry Which Farrell. Might... And it's just oh, like, that's... some of these people are just like, I don't know anything about Twilight. I'm just going to add Twilight to my song. <laughs> Maybe, I don't and know. And sometimes you get songs that are like, this isn't even about Twilight, but we just, we're throwing it in the soundtrack. We've got Tremble for My Beloved by Collective Soul, also known as the... Oh, the yak. that with L.A. Knight. Yeah. Fucking write that one down for later. Oh, heaven let your light shine down. Got another Paramore song with I Caught Myself. I caught myself. We've got uh, Eyes on Fire by Blue Foundation. We've got a song by Robert Pattinson called Never Think, which is accurate for Bella Swan. Accurate. We've got the song that plays at the during the during the dancing scene, Flightless Bird, American Mouth by Iron and Wire. And we got Bella's Lullaby by Cardo Burwell. Oh, is that a that's a composition. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, like, some bonus tracks and deluxe edition tracks that just look to be just more of the same. More of that. <laughs> Claire de Lune. Uh, apparently, one of the, the songs pussy. not featured on the tracks uh, was Radiohead's 15 Step. Oh, that's from their fucking, uh, that's from that one album everyone likes. In uh, Rainbows. Yeah, it's from In Rainbows. Everyone likes that album. Yeah. And yes, Claude Debussy. <laughs> Claire de Lune. The Debussy. Pussy. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I. It just. It doesn't hit you how bad this movie is. It's amazing how mid this movie is. It's mid, honestly. It's. It's it honestly, so it honestly mid. Now, it makes me question. We are like 25. Almost 25 years since its premiere. And it's making me question, like, how did this series get so popular? This is mid as fuck, even compared to, like,. We've been enjoying Vampire Diaries. That has been way more it's, it's like bang cheesy, your block. but it feels like shit happens, and some of the characters are good. Yeah, some of them, like, not all of them. You get more bang for your buck with with Vampire Diaries. I can't imagine sticking around for more Twilight. No, it, I, unless we had to, I'm not sure I'd watch want to watch more Twilight. <laughs> but that's why that's why it's not every one in one go. We're Spacing it out. Yeah, we're spacing seasons. it out between seasons just so we don't go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. This yeah. Um. Don't watch this unless you're really interested in that kind of thing. You gotta be like super curious, and even then, I would probably recommend any other vampire thing. It's time. it's two hours. It's it it feels two hours definitely. It feels two hours. The book I, I, is several hundred pages, and it has it has less than that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, you know, I'm all cool with Stephanie Meyer wanting to get that bread. That's cool. I just Fine. think that this is not great. This is <laughs> this, this first is uh, this bad. first book this first movie's not great. Hopefully, these do get better, but hopefully, but we'll be back to Vampire Diaries by then. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back to Vampire Diaries. Uh, thanks for watching, like sticking with us. If you made it this far, we're on yeah, this YouTube. Yeah, probably our longest episode. We're on YouTube at These Hot Idiots. Yep. We're on Tumblr, Ash, Nightshade, and Mega Fighter Three Four Three. We actually did not introduce ourselves at the start of this episode. I'm, so. I'm, I'm Ash. She's Mega. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good work, team. We yeah, did it we did. again. <laughs> Professional. I'll just here. cut. I'll just cut it to the front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uploading these simultaneously to YouTube and Spotify because YouTube is better at like podcast discovery. It is amazing how many more we get on YouTube. Yeah, than on we Spotify. get about four times the amount of viewers on YouTube, and it's weird because Spotify's free, but apparently it's... it just sucks at recommending shit to people. Yeah. So, and by the way, thank you for checking us out. If you have, like, we really appreciate. This I, is... I don't know why you're like. 11 or 12 episodes into like a vampire diaries podcast but hey cool okay. cool <laughs> we'll be okay, around next fun. week for episode 12 the second half of vampire diaries season one we, we, we continue onwards with unpleasantville uh j just make sure you take a shower
because you might get your human stink, and it might attract a vampire. And if you're a vampire, make sure to shower, or else you'll just be covered in paste. You'll be covered in, like, Elmer's glue, like Edward Cullen is. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? You're relieved you don't have to go to work because you thought you were going to get eaten? What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? What did they do to us?